Ah, hello. As you can see, I decided to run the oil dungeon, basically. Um, I wanted to spend the last, uh, basically the last turn before the fight at Tenma Bridge doing something that would benefit me in a way. So I did this dungeon. Um, I did this one because I already had it discovered. It's easy. Uh, it has affection awarding items at the end of it, which can help give Rance a couple extra levels. And... You know, it, it was there, really. I mean, I didn't have enough time to search for and find a new dungeon. Um, in this turn, basically, what you're going to see on the map here, once it goes to it, is that I used one action fan to do the event with Kurohime, and I used another to come here. I'm not sure what else I did. Um, this is post-recorded, though, uh, mostly because of necessity. Um, but there you go. They're all the Sen, uh, Senri Q cups. Um, I'm not sure what I do here, but... It was, uh, in an effort to help with the last bit of the game, and, uh, so you could see Kazuhisa's sequence as well. I wanted to make sure that it turned past, and I- it slipped my mind in the last part where I actually did the events with Kurohime and things, so I just made another part for it, and that's what this is here. I was basically giving Rance levels, um, you know, stuff like that. There's another Sil scene here. It's not really a new scene or anything, it's just, uh, it's the one that plays every time after all the main ones play, basically. You know, you're familiar with that with other characters, if you've done them. I mean, by now you know that when you select an event, and there are the question marks in pink, it means that there's something new. If they're not present, then there's nothing new. And that's what was happening. Um, that was nothing new for my frozen slave. Um, but, yeah, there you go. Uh, those extra levels will help Rance a little bit. Like I was saying before, I don't think I'll need it really, but... It never hurts. <laughs> never uh, miss out on an opportunity to give Rance levels. And I basically just said fuck this. I didn't do it because, you know, I don't. I don't really need to. So I didn't. Um, yeah. And here you go. This is what this is what the whole part exists for. Is this right here? And uh, basically, I'm gonna explain to you how I feel about Kazuhisa. He seems to me like one of those really strong, brave men. You know that uh, are really unintelligent people. They rely on their feelings, but they're kind of afraid to share them with other other people because they're men, you know, they're not supposed to do that. But they're still really affectionate, really loyal, really loving, really strong and capable, but they're just not really smart. He doesn't seem like a smart guy to me, you know, like his siblings. His siblings were fairly intelligent. Kazuhisa just doesn't seem that way. And uh, I think that loyal puppy who's really brave and willing to do things for the people that he loves fits, you know, Kazuhisa here, especially in this scene. I mean, his actions here are just related to that. Like, he's totally happy in doing what he's doing now. He knows that he's going to die, but he's going to inflict as much pain upon Xavier as possible before dying. Um, because he's come to terms with what's happened, you know? And this scene's not required, you don't have to see this scene. If you don't save Kurohime, you do not see this scene. So, you're aware of that. Um, but yeah, Kazuhisa dies on the Tenma Bridge. So, that's his fate. Um, he is the only brother to die actually fighting against the demon army. So, I think that's, that's interesting to point out. Um, and this scene here is another 4 Ishijiji. And... There is another to follow this, so I'd have to wait another turn, but it's not as important, really. It's uh, it's basically like, oh shit, we've got to act now, this turn, or we get a game over, and then you have to act, and then you have to have Suzume throw candy in the guy's mouth. I think that's what she does. It makes uh, the big diaper-wearing old man happy to uh, receive a sweet. So Suzume throws candy in his mouth every turn that you do it, and uh, it stalls the game, and you can do whatever you want on the map while it's happening. Uh, I've never woken Koime up with water because I'm not a douchebag. You know, I'm a, ni I'm a nice person, so I don't do that. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. That's really it. Um, This is the part before the, uh... The final part, so... Hmm. You're not missing anything else other than, uh, what I've discussed. Utomo Sorin's special canon... Uh, Agareta's character information, and Madoan combat. That's all that you've missed with the Demon Army. And, uh, Layla's H scene, which you can't see anyway. 
Otherwise, uh, I think I've, uh, covered all ends there of the deal. So, <laughs> I'll see you in the next part.